In chapter two, we will walk through the Android TV setup wizard. Pairing the remote control to the Stream Plus enables the remote's voice search feature and allows it to operate the Stream Plus without having to be pointed directly at the device. Pairing your Bluetooth remote is highly recommended. To do so, select the Pair option. If you select the Skip option, your remote will still function as a basic infrared remote control. This can be changed later in the settings. After selecting the Pair option, Press and hold the OK and Home buttons on the remote control for several seconds until the screen says, All Set. Next, select your language. This will be the language used for all your settings menus. If you already use an Android phone or tablet, you simplify the setup process by allowing Android to access credentials from your other device. To do this, select Yes. If you do not have an Android phone or tablet, select No to continue. Next, connect the Stream Plus to your Wi-Fi network. If your internet is connected directly via Ethernet cable, skip this step. To connect to Wi-Fi, select your network name from the list displayed on the screen. Then, enter your Wi-Fi password. The next step is to sign in on Google. Signing into Google will allow you access to the Google Play Store where you can download apps of your favorite streaming services and games. If you do not wish to sign into Google, you can skip this step. Although, we do recommend signing into Google now. There are two options to sign in. One, by using your phone or laptop. And two, by using your Google login and password. Choose your preferred option and follow the on-screen instructions. To proceed, you will have to review and accept Google's Terms of Service and Privacy Policy. You can choose not to let Google access your Stream Plus location, although we recommend allowing it for an improved experience. We recommend allowing Google to receive diagnostics from your Stream Plus device. However, you may elect not to.